Hi, it's Sam of What You Ought To Do. Thanks for joining us here on the Here's To Us. Today we are going to go from Fish Creek, since we can only spend one night here. It's really crowded here, a lot of boats out here. So we're going to leave here and head over to Menominee, which is a distance of about 17 miles. The weather's kind of going to change a little bit, and tonight here, if you anchor, it's not a good thing because supposedly the winds are going to come out of the north. So we considered anchoring, but we're going to move over to Menominee and head to a marina. We'll see you on the way. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Very good. Yeah. Okay, not yet. Okay. Okay, you can clear. Seems like there's more boats anchored than when we got in here. Doing great, Sam. Yeah, there's a dinghy. All right, so your red and your green, which way are you going? Okay, you're going to the left. All right. Good, and you got two coming at you <laughs> in the front here. Three coming at you. Right over here. Left. You got a wake, no wake buoy in front of us all right so we got the fish creek town dock where we stayed last night um alibi marina is right next to that and a lot of action in the water this morning a lot more boats are anchored out on these mooring balls now those mooring balls they said are seasonal so they're the locals that put their boats there or i guess the people that come up here for the summer well, we're out of the Fish Creek at Town Dock area and uh, onto Green Bay here. And what you're seeing here right now is one to two, occasional three. And uh, they're pretty much on the bow, although uh, maybe a little bit on the uh, port side. So we're just trying to pick a speed that's comfortable and we've kind of rigged everything for uh, Kind of a rough ride, we'll see how it goes. And uh, that's about 16 miles of this is about all I'll be able to take. How about you? You very well may get seasick sitting there in your <laughs> living room. <laughs> Go get a Dramamine and then come right back to the sofa. And the other thing is we've yet to contact the marina over there in Menominee, but we will do that here once we kind of get underway and sort things out. Uh, a couple checklists to do and Rev has rigged for sea. So we're bobbing up and down a little bit here, but we've been in worse, right? Oh, much worse. Yeah, so anyway, sit back and enjoy the rest of the flight. So about uh, 40 minutes out, 40 minutes out from docking at Menominee, and we've done everything we could as we went on their website. We looked at the dock layout, we looked at avionics, we've read all the notes. And we've talked to the harbor master, and guess what? Um, the dock layout has not been updated on the website. So he's given me instructions there that are a little bit confusing, but in any way, he has a slip for us. And so we will just hail him on channel nine here in about 15 minutes and get the updated information. But uh, sounds like a very nice marina very knowledgeable dock master and they have people out there working. It's calmed down out here considerably, which is nice. The winds are starting to come out of the southwest at just about 10 miles per hour. So things are calming down and we'll just take it easy going into the marina and uh, follow their instructions, get her into the slip, go from there. Wait, are you confused or not? 
Um, I'm not confused. Okay. I'm, I'm certain that I don't know exactly what's going on. <laughs> so I'm not confused. Okay then. So what we're armed with, all the information we have, and he uh, says he'll get us into uh, Slip. He's making a call to one of the resident Slips out there to see if he can get us on F Dock, but there's evidently a new set of docks that have been built that uh, don't show up on the diagram. So we'll just look out for that. All right, what's going on? Well, just goes to show you, you can do all the planning. You can arm yourself with all the current information that you think you have, except that this marina has built a new pier that doesn't show up on the charts, doesn't show up on their website, and it doesn't show up on Google Earth. So we are going into, as we turn in, uh, just past the sheriff's boat there, we will make a hard turn to the port, and we're going to go to a dock called uh, S, as in Sierra 2, that's a bow in starboard tie. And Rev was out there getting ready for a bow in, or actually a port tie. We were going to stern in or bow in, however, we could do for a port tie. But they've assigned us this slip, so we will uh, listen to them, go in, and uh, go from there. So, you ready, Rev? I'm ready. Okay. So we are coming up on the Menominee Marina. We wanted to stay in Menominee just so we could say it over and over and over again. Anyway, we are going into here to this channel behind this wall of steel. And apparently we're going all the way down to a new dock. So we'll see how that works out for us. A lot of loopers do not come on this side. And I don't know why we have come into, ran into nothing but cute place, cute, cute places, cute marinas. Had a really good time so far. There's a lot of boats in that marina. A lot of sailboats. A lot of everything. How you doing up there, Sam? Yeah, we, we've slowed way down, and he's just got it in idle. Here's to us, likes to move, likes to go fast. I can appreciate that. <laughs> A 32 inch props, whoa, two of them. So this looks like a happening town. You see people out walking. You're gonna make a sharp left around here? Oh, we're going right in there then, huh? Okay, we're going right around this turn and back in there. Thanks for coming along on this trip from Fish Creek Town Dock, a distance of about 17 miles over to Menominee. A great little marina here. Actually, it's a pretty big marina and uh, they have some fabulous facilities here. So just want to capture one of the best boaters lounges that we have seen thus far on the loop here in Menominee. On the entrance here, you could see this is a very historic building and they have lots of displays dating back to the 1800s. And probably the best part is this lounge area that's in here aquarium little planning desk that is here it's all the lounge and a tv a library here a kitchen area that has coffee and cappuccino juice that's the artifacts that are here nicely decorated And also a lounge in here, breakfast area or meeting area. Never have seen a boater's lounge quite like this, suitable for a meeting, whether they're getting ready for sailing races on Green Bay or the lake. So uh, we'll see you next time on what you ought to do. Life on the loop, it ain't bad.